Hey everybody, all right, made a short video here on the HID headlight replacement for a 2015 Hyundai Sonata Sport with the 2.0 turbo package. I used the Philips D3S part number 42403C1. Picked them up on the old electronic bay for about $110. It's not a bad job, it took me about two hours to complete and uh, just a few tools that every good shade tree mechanic ought to have in his repertoire. All right, once you've masterfully backed into your old garage there, you're going to want to whip out that old impact to take care of these nine plastic clippy dues that hold the front bumper in place on top of there by the radiator and the front hood latch. Uh, you're going to want to crawl underneath with a 10 millimeter and remove five bolts from the bottom side uh, to finish removing the bumper from there. Last but not least, there's three more of those clippy dues inside the fender wheel on either side in front of that front tire and uh, just above those there's another 10 millimeter that you're going to want to get with the old impact. Once you got your clippy dues free and your 10 millimeter bolts you're going to want to pop the clips on either side in front of the front headlights and uh, just kind of finesse it a little bit. Got to make sure you get it over that hood latch pick it up just a little bit set it down. There's a couple of little connectors there that power the fog lights that you want to disconnect before you remove the bumper. Set that joker aside. You'll need it later. Alright, so while I had access to the intercooler and radiator, I thought it'd be a good time to take the old shop back out and vacuum out around that stuff and get a little bit better airflow. You never know when a no prep event's going to pop up. But here I removed the negative terminal from the battery. Two 10 millimeter bolts hold that headlamp assembly on and a 12 millimeter up there by the ECU fuse panel. It takes a little bit to get it out, but it pops right out. There's some clips on the bottom side there. And here you just remove that panel access cover off, a little half turn twist and uh, gratuitous forearm shots here while I'm removing the two Phillips head screws holding the mounting clip in place on the actual headlight assembly itself. All right, so once those Phillips head screws are backed off all the way, gingerly remove that retaining clip from the igniter lamp. Don't let those Phillips head screws pass down into the headlamp assembly. Try to read this and then remove the igniter lamp. But before you move forward, take note of this twisty springy looking thing here at the base of the old igniter lamp assembly. You're going to want to move that over to the new one before you install. All right, so once you've got your igniter lamp assembly installed, reinstall your headlamp and move on to the other side. All right, so I left the next three or four minutes or so of this video at pretty close to real time speed, just to give you an idea that it doesn't take very long to complete this repair, replacement, what have you. So uh, for the next few minutes, enjoy the music.
All right, once you've got that second igniter lamp installed, you can put that cover back on there and put the headlamp assembly back together, button things up, and call it a day.